Hello again folks and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I've got a quick legato lesson for you today. We're just going to be using a basic C major scale, three notes per string. This shape I'm going to show you is, in my opinion, the easiest three note per string C major scale to play. But before we go to a close up and I show you this scale, uh, if I could just please ask you, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing, leave a thumbs up, a like, whatever, comments, all that stuff. But now let's go to a close-up. I'll show you this scale and I'll show you how I was playing it there. So we're going to start on the low E string, 7th fret. We're going to play frets 7, 8 and 10 and we're also going to play 7 8 and 10 on the next string the fifth string but we're only going to pluck the first note and then we're going to hammer on the next two <laughs> like that and what i want you to do also if you can is play a downstroke on the sixth string, but then an upstroke on the fifth string. So we're doing alternate picking on each string. So we're going down, up, then down, up, down, up on each pair of strings. So fret seven, eight, and ten on those two low strings. Starting with a downstroke and then an upstroke. Then on the middle two strings, we're going to play frets 7, 9 and 10. On the D and G strings, again, starting with a downstroke and then an upstroke on the third string. And then on the two high strings, starting with a down, we're going to play frets 8. 10 and 12 on both strings. Again, using down on that second string and up on that first string. So that scales slowly all together. Little bit faster. <laughs> then, obviously, once you've got that down, you can reverse it and come back down. Now, we're going to start with a down stroke on the high E string. And, uh, and then go to an upstroke on the second string. So down, up, then down on the third string, up on the fourth string, down on the fifth string, and up on the sixth string. Then you can end it on the eighth fret if you want, which is a C. But we can play this over any of the chords in a C major scale. So we could play it over D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, or B diminished, and it will fit. So the entire pattern going up and down. <laughs> Thank you. 
told you it was going to be a quick one today. Uh, very useful exercise this if you're not familiar with playing legato or you're not familiar with playing three notes for string scales. This is a good way to take you to the next level if you're just playing the standard pentatonic boxes. Very useful exercise in and of itself. You don't have to play it across all six strings. Once you've got the hang of it, you can just play across two, three, four strings and start coming up with your own riffs and lick. You can also play it backwards, so start with the pinky finger and use pull offs rather than starting with the index and using hammer ons. That's another thing you can do. Or so start with the pinky, pull off to the index, and then hammer on with the middle is another way you can do it. And these gradually will become more difficult, uh, but very useful exercises nonetheless. Anyway, that's all from me for this week. I'll be back with another one next week for you. Until then, look after yourselves. Take care. Bye for now.